Winthrop Superintendent Jim Hodgkin says teachers are in the business of helping kids and that is certainly what's going on this week. And as students return to school in heavily impacted communities, it is anything but routine. Talking to teachers and people have had him is he just was a fun loving, good kid, honor student, um, loved music, was a part of the garage band at the middle school, was starting trying to get a garage band started at the high school and um, you know, just a pretty good kid. Sounds like the type of kid you want in your school system. Absolutely, absolutely. 14-year-old Aaron Young and his father Bill died in the shooting. Every five minutes, I'm like, this can't be real. Like, Bill's stepdaughter says he was the rock of the family and Aaron gave the best hugs. This kid has been in, in schools uh, since kindergarten here. So um, I think that the, the ripple effect is uh, beyond our comprehension. That ripple effect includes the loss of two others connected to the school, one student's uncle and a teacher's friend. The only thing I've said consistently is tomorrow's not going to be much better, you know, um, but hopefully a little bit. And, but we, we know we're not going to get where we need to until we start. So we're glad to be back in school, sad to be back in school, um, but it really was a, a necessary first step. Hodgkin says crisis counselors and even therapy dogs are helping kids today. He has around 820 students in the school system. 820 something kids and we have 820 different ways to think about how to deal with this. Hodgkin adds 30 to 40 superintendents have been meeting since the night of the shooting, including the superintendent of Lisbon where the manhunt came to an end. Lisbon Superintendent Richard Green says he's been meeting with staff across the board and says it was best to prep them today and ease students back to class Tuesday. There will also be heightened security. We, we have multiple extra officers on, yes. He confirms one student in Lisbon lost a father. Green thanks the outpouring of support from services in the area. And we're told there will be a vigil here in Winthrop Wednesday night at 530 to honor those they lost. Reporting in Winthrop, I'm Johnny Matthew.